Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading energy check-in. This is going to be for the zodiac sign of Leo for the month of April 2021. So we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for April, and then we'll take a look at what the possible outcome and advice are. So this could be anything. This could be in romance, love, relationships, friendships, uh, family, career, finances, personal development, spiritual development. So we'll just see what the cards have to say. Um, before we get started, I would like to let you guys know that I am getting close to hitting the 2,000 subscriber mark. And once I hit 2,000, I am giving away um, two free one-hour readings. Uh, so basically how you enter is you hit the subscription button and the notification bell. And by leaving a comment down in the comment section below with the hashtag 2K. So once I hit 2000, I will reach out to two individuals, uh, for a personal private one hour reading with me. Um, so I'll just, uh, reach out and gather, you know, your information and we'll set some, uh, we'll set up the, uh, reading. Um, so yeah, so I am thinking about doing this for every increments of 1,000 subscribers. So the next one will be, uh, 3,000. So once I get, once I start to get close to 3,000, I'll put out another announcement. So, um, all right guys, so let's get started here. Overall energies for Leo. What is surrounding Leo? What does Leo need to know? What can Leo expect for April 2021? Over energies for Leo. What is surrounding Leo? What can Leo expect? Leo needs to know for April 2021. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The sun, there you are, Leo energy. Eight of Wands. You have the Five of Pentacles. Three of Cups and the King of Wands. There you are. There you are again, Leo. And then we have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Looks like there's a pair here, Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So it could seem, seems as though someone's really passionate towards you or you could be passionate towards someone. Someone could be working really hard to come back around perhaps. I feel like someone's trying to send you a message, trying to communicate with you. I mean, you could be seeing someone here as your happiness, or they are seeing you as their happiness, but it seems as though someone might be... <sighs> someone might be trying to communicate with you, maybe create some sort of reunion with you. So this could be a friend, this could be an ex, this could be a family member, someone that you haven't seen for a long time, but let's uh, clarify this. Seven of Pentacles. Someone's definitely contemplating here about something. 
perhaps looking back at past mistakes or waiting for something to grow. going on with the sun card and the page of swords what's going on with this eight of wands you have the empress what's going on with this uh five of pentacles you have the three of wands what is going on with this three of cups you have the king of swords Going on with this King of Wands and the High Priestess. Okay. I feel like someone definitely wants to communicate with someone. Perhaps someone here wants to communicate with an Empress or an empress wanting to communicate with someone, making plans to recover from a setback here, financial setback, or someone being left out in the cold. Um, definitely, maybe there could be money involved. Maybe you planted some seeds and you're just waiting for it to grow, or you're just not really seeing any results. I don't know if there's like third parties involved here, but we could take a look with more messages. But it seems as though someone does want to communicate here with this page, with these pages here. Um, someone could know the truth about something. Yeah, it feels like someone knows something here. You have the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, so... I don't know if someone's coming back around to give equal give and take in the connection here. Um, but let's see. You have the Page of Wands um, being clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. Um, the Sun card being clarified by the Page of Swords. You have the Eight of Wands being clarified by the Empress, the Five of Pentacles being clarified by the uh, Three of Wands, and then you have the King of Swords being clarified by uh, clarifying the uh, Three of Cups, and the King of Wands being clarified by the High Priestess. Let's see. I'm going to take a look at the possible outcome and advice here. And then if someone pops up here it seems like there might be more than one person I, I will do a spread for the person that you're dealing with all right what is the possible outcome and advice here for leo what does leo need to know what can leo expect for the month of april 2021 strength, more Leo energy here, Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Pisces energy, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and a Five of Swords. Feeling third party here. Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. You can have multiple people here. So I'm seeing an empress, I'm seeing a queen, I'm seeing a king. It seems 
as though someone's trying to hold back on offering someone a cup of love. This empress could be leading someone here, perhaps. Moving forward without someone. some competition going on here that will cause some sort of heartbreak. Um, what's going on with this Knight of Cups? Alright, you have the Four of Swords. What's going on with the Strength? Alright, you have the Ten of Cups. So definitely someone's getting excited about the potential of long-term happiness here with someone. What's going on with the wheel? You have the Ace of Wands. Alright, tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. You have the Four of Pentacles. What's going on with this Three of Swords? Yeah, the six of yeah. It seems as though there is a king here that might have caused some sort of heartbreak here by giving to third parties. What's going on with f the five of swords and the eight of pentacles? There could have been gaslighting here. Yeah, I feel like someone here. I feel like here, someone here was acting on a, uh, just on impulse, on passion, not acting based on emotion here. I mean, I feel like this king could have been dealing with a queen and an empress here. Because... I mean, is an empress trying to come back around? Or an empress is trying to move forward here and start to have a new beginning for themselves? And then you have this other person here. You have this queen that's holding back. I mean, this queen could be married to this king here because you do have the queen of wands, which is the pair. King to the queen of wands. I mean, this could be the Empress too here because they, there's, so the Ace of Wands and the Wheel and the Empress and the Eight of Wands, they're both in the same position here. And I'm feeling as though someone here might be trying to get away or might be trying to come back or might be trying to recover from being left out in the cold and maybe planning a future for themselves here. Because it seems as though this king here is just giving to third parties and causing heartbreak and gaslighting people or gaslighting one specific person, perhaps this empress or this queen. I'm feeling that someone sees this connection maybe as something that's not going to work out because it seems as though someone's looking back at things and really not seeing a lot of growth here. Seems as though this king might be a bit of a player. I feel like the outcome here is that someone might be a bit hesitant to come forward. Maybe someone's scared that, you know, this is a possibility and that someone has feelings for someone. Has like major feelings for someone here. But I feel like someone could be moving on or moving away from this because someone here is holding back. Someone is thinking maybe I should move on to have a new beginning for myself. I mean, this feminine energy could be moving, like physically moving far, far, far away. Because I feel like this king is 
giving to third parties here. Yeah, I feel like there's like gaslighting here. There's mind games. So let's take a look what's going on here of your person here, Leo. So Leo, I just don't know where you fall on this. So you could be this masculine energy, this king, or you could be this queen slash empress. So place yourself where you see fit, take it as it resonates, because the roles could be flipped and reverse. So let's just take a look at your person to see what's going on. All right, tell me about the person that Leo is dealing with. What are their current overall energies towards Leo? What are their true feelings and intentions towards Leo? What does Leo need to know about their person for the month of April 2021? Oh. about the person that Leo is dealing with. What are their true intentions and feelings towards Leo? What are their overall energies towards Leo right now? Eight of Wands, they want to communicate. So it seems like this Empress wants to communicate here. You have the Eight of Swords. Okay. You have the Nine of Pentacles. King of Cups, the Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy, and the Ten of Pentacles. Right, someone's seen someone as the one, but it seems like someone has to give up their player ways before this could happen here. Um, yeah, I just feel like this feminine energy is tired of this King's maybe dishonesty. Because it seems like this king still wants to have, you know, this Ten of Cups, this Ten of Pentacles. But the problem is, this king is having trouble giving up entertaining third parties here. Alright, let's get more messages here for you. I feel like some Gemini energy. This could be a strong soulmate connection. You do have the Ten of Cups here. The Sun card. Let's see. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. You have the Devil. But someone's feeling stuck here. Someone's feeling stuck here. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Five of Pentacles. Someone feels alone. Tell me about this King of Cups. You have the Two of Swords. You know, I feel like this King is stuck. Definitely stuck. I feel like this King is really not trusting their, their intuition. Ignoring their intuition. What's going on with this Moon? You have the Ace of Swords. I feel like a truth is going to be revealed or has been revealed here. What's going on with the Ten of Pentacles? I feel like they have something to say, but I feel like they're slow to do it 
or slow to move toward yeah so whoever this is this person's stuck here you have the eight of swords someone wants to communicate to let someone know how they feel but it seems as though maybe someone here uh, is dealing with multiple people that's keeping them stuck and i feel like it's uh, this third party situation. Yeah, this person literally is keeping themselves stuck here. As a result, I feel like this Empress might feel very alone. I feel like this Empress or this Queen wants you know, a long-term commitment here, but someone has to become unstuck. I feel like some truth is going to be revealed here, or a truth was revealed, uh, perhaps in regards to a third party, but it's just whatever you guys are trying to work towards with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, it's very slow to happen. It's, yeah, it's just slow moving. There's no progress here. Someone is tied to their toxic behavior. Yeah, this is, uh, th this person's extremely stuck. The Eight of Swords, the Devil with the Two of Swords. I feel like it's this king here. And then you have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, it, I just feel like someone here is getting quite tired of this situation here. Like, someone does want to communicate, but someone's just stuck. Someone's, yeah, I feel like maybe there are other people involved. Like I said, the third parties might be involved. That's keeping this person from actually moving forward with someone. Um, Knight, uh, Eight of Wands being clarified by the Lovers. The Eight of Swords being clarified by the Devil. You have the Nine of Pentacles being clarified by the Five of Pentacles. You have the um, King of Cups being clarified by the Two of Swords. And then you have the um, Ace of Swords clarifying the Moon and the Ten of Pentacles being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. So it just seems as though someone's just more into giving to third parties and stringing someone along than actually than letting that go and actually really moving forward here with someone. So Leo, this was your general reading energy check-in for the month of April. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.